Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we are doing another international pattern haul. So these patterns is picked up for someone in the Commonwealth of Dominica. Yes, now before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into these patterns that I picked up today, Saturday, for someone in the Commonwealth of Dominica. So let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so I picked up roughly about 25 patterns. So um, this, these patterns, most of them I already have, which I will tell you the patterns that I have in my own stash, right? All right, so the first pattern is an easy to sew pattern. It's 3971. The pattern description says that it is a woman and men's pajama pattern in two length and knit tank top. The fabric options for A, which is the top, you would need to use knit fabric. And then for B and C, which is the pants and shorts, you can use cotton, cotton blend, flannel, or even chambray or sheer sucker fabric as well. Once again, this is a pajama pattern. You can use it for his and her pajamas. I love this. I would do it, for me, I do have this pattern and I plan on doing it in a flannel fabric. This is 3971. Next pattern is Simplicity 4552. Now all of these patterns are, are Simplicity patterns, so I'm just gonna tell the pattern number. This one is 4552. It's also an easy to sew pattern. And you guys know that I love, you know, um, patterns that have different pieces, um, like a collection style pattern. But this is 4552, easy to sew pattern. Um, this is a woman's, a Mrs. Woman skirt, crop pants, dress or top, kimono, scarves, or a sash. You can use this uh, scarf as a sash as well. The fabric option includes any type of woven fabric like your cottons, denim, shally, crepe back satin, satin, not satin, satin, satin rayons, silk linen, crinkle gauze, double georgette, and you can also use sheer fabric and linen fabric as well. But once again, this pattern is 4552. Next pattern is 8013. This is a 1970s vintage pattern. Now I have this pattern. I have not sewn this pattern together. There's a couple of reasons why, but let's go ahead and get onto the pattern description for this pattern. It is a Mrs. Line dress in two lengths and sash. The fabric option you could use is lightweight fabrics like your chalet, your Chamuse, Charmeuse, um, your crepe back satin, satin, not satin, satin, um, double Georgette, silky types. Um, those are just some of the options that you can use. Now let me talk about why I have not sewn this pattern. Honey, if you look at view A or even AB, you need anywhere from seven and five eighths to eight yards of fabric at 45 inch. What, come again? That's a lot of yardage of fabric for 45 inch fabric. Now let's look at 60 inch fabric. You need anywhere from five and a half to six yards of fabric. What? That's a lot of fabric. However, I do plan on scoring with this dress. So I do plan on doing this dress one day when I can find a 60% off coupon at Joann's to go pick up some Shang Tung fabric in order to do this dress. So that's, this been on the list forever and a day since this came out. But once again, this is 8013. Next one is 8107. This is a basically a basket, like a tote, um, but not a tote bag, a tote basket where you could throw your yarn and any type of, you know, knickknacks that you have that you could throw in your bucket, accessory, craft type stuff. But this is 8107. 
Next one is 8231. This is the So House 7 pattern. Um, I do not have this pattern, but I do like view D on the pattern. It may be something I might pick up in the near future. I don't know, but this is 8231. Next one, 8376. You just seen this pattern from the last um, pattern haul that I did for Antigua and Jamaica. This was a pattern that was, you know, requested and it was requested again for the Commonwealth of Dominica as well. Um, I have done this pattern in a stripe, which I put in the last video, stripe as well as floral pants, which was 8378 in that for the pants, the top was 8376. All right, um, the next pattern is 8657, which is a captain pattern with options for design hacking. The fabrics that you can use for this pattern is um, your chali, chambray, cotton type, gauze, linen type, silky types, um, basically any type of woven fabric for this pattern. Um, I like number three, but if you guys remember me telling you that captain is not my thing when I tried to do a captain pattern during the fall top series, it's just not my thing. So I think I part ways with this pattern. If I did not, I will part ways with this pattern <laughs> one of these days, but this is eight, six, five, seven. Next one is 8790. I have this pattern. It's been on my list since it came out. This is a Mrs. Knit dress and tunic pattern. I like this view right here on the pattern, which I think is view A. That's the view that I'm interested in doing. The fabrics that you can use in order to create this pattern would be any type of knit fabric like jersey, novelty, novelty knit, stretch velvet, lightweight sweater knit as well. Those are the fabrics that you can use in order to construct this pattern. But this is 8790. Next one is 8909. I have this pattern. I wanna do this pattern in linen, but um, I'm not sure when I'll get around to this pattern whatsoever. I do plan on doing view C on this pattern. This is a Mrs. Dress pattern. The fabric options that you can use for this pattern includes basically any type of woven fabric like your crepe, double Georgette, lightweight, linen, just to name a few for this pattern. Once again, it's 8909. Next one is 8911. This is another caftan pattern. You guys know how I feel about caftan, but to be honest, caftan is great to wear like, you know, a beach, beach vacation, you know, out and about on the island. Caftans is good for that. It's just Captain's is just too long for me. I'm only a five foot five woman, you know what I mean? So a captain just doesn't suit me. I would have to tie it on the side and make it stylish because I'm not that tall, all right? But yes, this is a knit captain pattern. The fabric options that you can use in order to construct this pattern would be any type of knits like your bamboo knit, ITY knit, jersey, or a model knit. And those are the fabrics that you can use in order to construct this pattern. Once again, it's 8911. Next one is 8981. It is a easy to sew pattern. I plan on doing this pattern at the top of the year. So stay tuned for that. This would be one of the first patterns that I do at the top of the year because I do have an event that's coming up. And this is one that I already decided that I was going to do. So stay tuned for that. But the um, description of this pattern is a Mrs. Dress with length and sleeve variation. The uh, fabrics that you can use for this pattern is lightweight to medium weight fabric, such as your chambray, cotton lawn, cotton type, double Georgette, double gauze, double knit, which is the fabric that I will be using. And you can also use French Terry for this pattern as well. But once again, this is Simplicity 8981. Next one is 8983, which is this one right here, which is a Mrs. Dress pattern. Um, I had this pattern, but I gave it away because um, I believe I gave it to Miss Jamaica, as a matter of fact. Um, and the reason why is simply because I looked through my patterns and seen that, is this something that I'll sew in the next three to four years, three to five years, really? And if it was not talking to me, I was just like, you know what? 
she wanted the pattern. It's easier for me to just go and pick the pattern up if I decide that I wanna do this pattern versus someone in Jamaica that does not have access to these patterns. You know, anyone in the islands don't have easy access to patterns like we do here in the United States. So it was just easier for me to part ways with the pattern and the pattern is still in the pattern drawer. So I did go ahead and ship that to Miss Jamaica. I remember having this pattern and I shipped this one to her. It's 8983 and I would be interested in doing view C if I decide to go and pick up the pattern again, but this is 8983. Next one is 9121. I have this pattern. You guys know I am a sucker for easy pattern. This pattern, like the whole thing is four pieces, I believe. Four pieces for the pants, four pieces for the top, because it's only eight pattern pieces in this pattern total for the top and the pants. So four and four and you good to go. Go ahead and get this pattern, pick it up. It is a quick sew, I'm pretty sure, for both view A and view B. You can do this as a mommy and me as well. Um, the description of the pattern is child and Mrs. top and pant pattern. The fabric options you could use is any type of woven fabric, cotton lawn, cotton type, cause linen type, shirting, and even chambray as well. But this is Simplicity 9121. The next pattern is 9182. Now this pattern is a Mrs. Top knit top and skirt pattern by Mimi G herself. Um, so for this one, I picked it up to, I picked it up because I like view B on the pattern, which is this right here. Now, I mean, I do eventually may get around to the skirt as well, but I really picked it up for the top. Um, the fabric option that you can use for this pattern would be your stretch knits for view A and B, like your Ponte or your sweater knit as well for this pattern. But once again, it's Simplicity 9182. Next pattern that I picked up is 9238. It is a skirt pattern. Um, I picked it up because I like view C on the pattern and that's the view that I'm interested in doing. Some of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern includes crepe, double Georgette, double knit, Ponte, silk type, and stretch wovens as well. Once again, this pattern is 9238. Next pattern is 9211. I picked up two patterns, one for adult, one for children. Um, I would love to do this in like a plaid um, for my family, for matching sets for, you know, family or something like that. I do have this pattern, but once again, it's 9211. You can use any type of woven fabric, flannel, fleece, cotton, you name it, in order to construct the this pattern. Once again, it's 9211. Next pattern is 9311. Four, which is this one right here. It is a knit top and pants pattern for men. I like it for view B and C. That's the view that I would inter be interested in doing. Some of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern includes knits for the top, knits like your jersey or ITY, and then for the shorts, you can use any type of woven fabric like your cotton, poplin, uh, lightweight denim, or even ribstop as well. But once again, this is Simplicity 9314. Next one is 9323, another captain pattern, of course. Um, the fabrics that you can use for this pattern includes cotton blend, rayon, and silky type. Now for me, I would do view A on the pattern. However, I did not pick this pattern up because it is a captain pattern. Once again, it's 9323. Next one is 9346. Now, I'm pretty sure that um, she did not want this pattern for Care Bears. It was more for what the item is, the top and the pants for this, but this is a child's children's teen and adult animal costume pattern. The fabric that you can use for this pattern would be your stretch knits like your fleece, mink fleece, or even sweatshirt fleece. Um, for the bands, you would need rib knit, and then for your hood lining, you can use cotton fabric as well. Once again, this is 9346. 
The next pattern is 9379. This is a unisex oversized knit hoodie, pant, and uh, t-shirt pattern. Now for me, I like what the female is wearing, view CE on the pattern. That's what I would do when I get around to this pattern. But some of the fabric options that you can use for this pattern would be, of course, your knit fabric, like your bamboo terry, jersey, ITY, or even spandex knit, blend, spandex blend knit as well. But once again, this is 9379. The next one is 9385. This is a knit top with length and sleeve variation. Now for me, I like view C on the pattern with kind of like that turtleneck and the cuff, and then you have a band at the bottom. That's what I like on the pattern. That's what the view that I would be interested in doing. But some of the fabric options that you can use for this pattern includes any type of stretch knits, like your jersey, rib knits, stretch velvet, or even sweater knits just to name a few. But once again, this pattern is Simplicity 9385. Next one is 9386. This is an old vintage pattern from 1960. Now for me, if this pattern was for me, I would do view C on the pattern, which is this view right here. But the pattern description says that this is a set of Mrs. Blouse. Now, some of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern includes cotton, linen types, crepe, chambray, satin, silks, just to name a few. But once again, this pattern is 9386. Next one is 9444. This is a craft home decor style pattern. Um, this is kind of like a caddy. If you're sewing something for your sewing room machine, you can put your sewing machine on and have your scissors, rulers, your elastic, you know, all the notions that you need inside of that caddy. The pattern description says that it is a creative space decor. Some of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern includes canvas, cotton duck fabric, um, linen types, medium weight cotton types, tweed, or even twill for this uh, pattern as well. But once again, it is 9444. Next one is the Mimi G pattern 9450. This is one of her latest patterns with Norris is on a, another pattern as well, but this one is the skirt and um, sweatshirt pattern, which for me, I would do B, D on the pattern, but basically instead of having it above the knee, I would drop that dress, not dress, but skirt to the knee on this pattern. The uh, pattern description says that it is a Mrs. Knit top and skirt. Some of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern include stretch knits like your fleece, French terry, a lightweight ponte, lightweight scuba, just to name a few. Um, but once again, this is the Mimi G for simplicity pattern, pattern number 9450. Next one is 9454. I have this pattern. I like it. This is kind of like a mommy and me. I would not be doing it for a mommy and me, but this is more of a tiered style uh, dress. I love view A on the pattern. That's the, pa that's the, that's the view that I would do when I get around to this pattern. The pattern description states that it is a child and missus dress and top pattern. Some of the fabrics you can use for this pattern includes cotton, cotton blends, lightweight corduroy, linen, and rayon, just to name a few for this pattern. For me, I think I would probably use a solid cotton fabric, line it with some white and call it a day. Um, but once again, this is 9454. One of the patterns I'm putting on my list, by the way. 9455, this is amazing. This is basically a knit pajama set for your family, family knits. The pattern description for this pattern includes Mrs. Men's and Child's knit pant and top pattern. Some of the fabrics that you can use for this includes your stretch knits like your activewear knit, ITY jersey, and even bamboo knit for this pattern. So this is a knit family pajama set. I like this. I may end up doing this for my family. I don't know because we really, I don't know if my family will wear a knit pajama set, but I picked up the pattern anyway, just in case I decide to do this. But once again, it is 9455. And the last pattern that I picked up for someone in the Commonwealth of Dominica 
It's 9462. I have this pattern. I picked it up. I like it for you B on the pattern. This is a child and Mrs. lounge dress. Now I have never heard of a lounge dress, but I want to say this is a dress that you can lounge around the house in, but you could also wear this out. If you make it in the right fabric, it doesn't have to be like a nightgown, a lounge dress, a night clothes, I guess you could pretty much say style dress, but a lounge dress just makes you seem like you just go lounge around the house. I like to make stuff to go out the house, not just lounge around the house, you know? So I don't make a lot of pajamas and stuff like that because those are things that you could go buy for two, three dollars, you know? So, you know, um, but this dress would not be a lounge dress for me. It would just be a normal dress that I can wear outside the house and I'm good to go, okay? Um, but some of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern includes your crinkle gauze, flannel, cotton, chalet, um, rayon, cotton, ITY, or even jersey knit as well in order to construct this uh, dress, this lounge dress, right? But this is 9462. All right, so that's all the patterns that I picked up for Joann's during the Black Friday and the next day, which was Saturday. I picked these up today, Saturday, and that's all that I have for you for this international pattern haul for someone in the Commonwealth of Dominica. Now, if I get 150 likes on this pattern, I will choose one of these patterns that I have to do a sew along for, but I have to get 150 likes on this video. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video, and as always, keep sewing.